Yeah, Beast Snap, it does feel like a very, very highly sought after in the openings. In fact, why do you think a Snap isn't picked in an opening here? Is it something that might get through and is more second phase hero right now? Mind games. I think, was it Simo that loves playing it? I'm not sure. Because I think it, there must be have like a, a specialist for Rubik. I don't know. They, there's no reason that they pick Rubik over Snap here other than they just enjoy the hero more or have a specialist for it. It's the save against the Skywrath. You know, Skywrath is ulting <laughs> yeah, someone and you pull them out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Zeus is... I think that's another hero that's been getting picked a little yeah. in Eastern Europe. Yeah, I'm so excited to see it. It's been Sport picked Zeus. in NA, too, mm -hmm. by a European, but still in NA region. <laughs> Fada picked it up. Yeah. I Honestly, like, I think the SEA Dota teams are great, but I feel like they're just behind, like, trying new stuff. They're still trying to play Dusa and stuff. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it feels kind of a little bit like watching old meta a little bit. They gave up on the Storm, but yeah. outside of that, there's... A lot of the same heroes, except for T1, I think had a great adaptation today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Picking more monkey carry, TB's pretty hot right now as well. There's an enchantress you wanted to see at the last series we were covering. Oh, snipe! This is their hero. This is something they've oh. been playing a lot of, and it's of the couple of Eastern European teams who've been playing a lot of this carry sniper. Um, but yes, Smiling Knight Sniper, I believe, will be what we get. My favorite thing is every week, she always talks about how much she wants to see a sniper. <laughs> every day, she was working today, she's gone home sick, Suck and now sniper gets pulled out. you got to do it justice. I'm going to hype it up. She's, she would have been like, woo, sniper, woo! I have no idea why she really wants to see it so Probably with some, some Zoomer sayings in there as well. <laughs> LFG! Yeah, yeah. LFG. <laughs> Uh, that is I mean, it's good versus the beast in a lot of ways. None of these heroes jump on Sniper, which is usually what Sniper doesn't want to play against. Yeah, but they still have two more picks for yeah. that, which <laughs> you only need a couple of them for to really end True. Sniper. <laughs> Bring back the Spectre. Yeah, I mean, could. Nah, not first Pudge. I think that lane would be really hard if Pudge yeah. goes off lane. That's Ember true, mid yeah. or Storm, Bat, there you go. Okay. That's one of those heroes I can get on the back lines Ooh. there. And it's very so, scary for Sniper. And it's another hero that like can lane, if they're going to consider like where the Pudge is going to lane, you assume it's going to be a core, maybe not safe lane with the Sniper pick. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put Pudge mid against the Bat right yeah, now. That's definitely like not. A death sentence. And there's the Spectre ban, so. So uh, Pudge is for sure going off lane now. And mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to do a carry Bat, so... <laughs> Yeah, and he should be safe there, and they they kind of get a counter pick the bat mid, and traditional bat mid picks are going to be like storm, very nerfed hero, but very good versus him, and Quap is the other one, so they'll probably bend both those out, unless storm is that bad now, like which would be weird because it's a pretty good storm <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah. I can see, yeah, like the Zeus and stuff. It sounds pretty nice as well. Yeah, it's for Zeus, Beast, Bat, like. The telekinesis is like a joke of a stun now for the most part until you get levels. Mind Games is going to have overall last peak, but peak pick. I'm just really struggling. They're going to have last Good. pick. Um, so what would you like to see one move get? But something that, you know, can't really be just randomly very counted. Uh, they already, like, shown, they've shown everything, except for they're, they're just going to pick a mid now and they're going to respond to bat. Mm -hmm. As far as I see it, and I think their options are pretty much two heroes now. It's either going to be Ember Spirit or it's going to be Storm. It's going to be Spirit. Those are my guesses, because both those heroes I've seen do really well for Spat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering. I feel like you know, they're picking Snipers, Pudges, Skyrim. It's like, surely there's something. <laughs> you say it's, it's going to be a Storm or an Ember, but I don't know. Uh, it's like gonna be a... some Slark or something. We <laughs> a bad in mid, Legion mid. Uh, we going crazy here. Is yeah. their lineup missing anything? No, it uh, is gonna be Ember. How boring. Yeah. Oh, fear picked it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now mind games. I mean, yeah, I think this is where like they didn't have to worry too much about counter picks because mind games still need to carry. Unless they go like you know something wild with their lanes, like Bat Rider safe lane and do some like mid carry hero. But that seems pretty tricky to pull off. Yeah, for Spudge, could be cool here. Uh... With some, I mean, he's going to lane versus Pudge. So like, Pudge is just this big, tanky hero now. So you need a lot of damage from him. Pat can do it. Do you think Ursula, maybe? PA? Ooh. 
Okay. I mean, that's the... They're not really caring too much about the Pudge here. They're caring about the Sniper. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of a focus on that. You guys can uh, ruminate over these drafts as Lyrical and Trent, your amazing casters for the series, are joining us. Hi, welcome back, Lyrical. Hello, Trent. Would you like to start with uh, some information overload Hi. about these lineups? I get to ruminate? Is that what I've been told mm. to do? That's exciting. I, I told these two, but uh, you can do that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Pudge is very hype. Pudge is the cool stuff, huh? It's, <laughs> it's all over the place. So uh, I thought it was pretty cool how they're uh, going after the, the lane too. Because I was I was looking forward to the mid Pudge because I feel like that's been the most exciting one around the world because it doesn't matter how their lane goes. Uh, if you guys want a nice little explanation, check out Excalibur's content, by the way. <laughs> he was uh, snooping nice. on some of Nisha's pubs. But... Uh, yeah, the hero is really strong. It doesn't matter how your lane goes. You can just sort of like try and run down the game by attacking the side lanes and everything. So I think uh, trying to shove him off to the off lane is a good start from my games. And I think overall their draft uh, looks very solid here. Mm -hmm. Is there a hero for you, Lyrical, quickly that stands out? I mean, it's just got to be the Pudge Man. I don't want, I mean, that's all it is. That's all I'm going to be talking about this whole game. His <laughs> hook's going everywhere. He's probably going to miss, but whatever. It's fine. I look it's forward cool. to it very quickly, though. A team for you guys. I don't want a reason, just a team. Uh, mind games. Mind oh, games mind. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just in for mind games. Let's see if they actually can do it as game one is kicking off. Thank you so much, Nat. Yeah, we're ready to hop into this one. Uh, so much excitement around the world for this. We saw Brile do it the other day. You were talking about Nisha. Apparently, this guy's been playing it out of his mind a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, friend of the stream, Excalibur, he uh, he put up a YouTube video talking about uh, how he played, like, he tried to play Pudge for 22 games straight. Uh, you guys Whoa. can find his YouTube, and you'll, you'll see it. He only got to play four games uh, because it was actually banned, or two people tried to pick it in the first picking phase every single game, except for four of them. So, <laughs> oh uh, yeah, the hero is, is you know, it's kind of everywhere right now at top-tier pubs. But for now, it's in this game, and uh, it's ready to brawl. Come get here. Yeah, they're brawling right at the start now. Need to be careful. Some weird dynamics here uh, as they've got axes, they've got bat rider, but uh, for move, they've just got a lot of damage. They can just bully people back if they want. So they'll be able to claim this bounty run, it looks like, and mind games are going to be forced back to the other side. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch. Um, I, I think that the thing that's so weird about Pudge, right, is that it's just the most popular hero in Dota when Pudge is terrible. <laughs> and he's good. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to get to play it. It's just going to get banned constantly in pubs. Oh, you know what? And Pudge being in pro matches means I could talk about my absolute favorite stat in everything about Dota. Oh. As, as long as no one's dying here. Night? Smiling night? Ooh, move. Get three. Not bad, not bad. All right. <clears throat> so, Pudge, obviously the most played hero in all of Dota across all pubs. Everyone's playing Pudge. Guys, would you guys like to know the combined total of humanity that has spent playing Pudge? <laughs> How much? Uh, Wait, what is that? Uh, you guys aren't ready for this. 70,619 years! 102 <laughs> days what? and 21 minutes. That's right. 70,619 years of human time have been spent playing Dude. as the Hookmaster Pudge. <laughs> What that's have we insane done? we could yeah, have cured have so many illnesses <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually things could that's a be little, better Seventy thousand years yeah society if we did never invented pudge right like yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy uh that's a but really you know, good we got pudge and i think it's worth to be fair i think it's worth too actually you know what oh, you're right oh big nip he accidentally animation canceled trying to kill that courier for the first hit so won't get it and uh pantomime's actually just gonna get a ton of harassment onto him so even though it's the uh nature's attendance first it's also a pretty good amount of bullying onto that rubik this is gonna be a rough lane for him there I thought these drafts were so interesting as well. Like this, this whole idea of like the Pudge coming out and trying to figure out these these lanes, and and now where we've wound up with this sniper in the safe lane with the edge, and now up top, uh, the PA, which was Whoa. the pick that came to mind immediately once the sniper was there. You know, teams tend to look towards Spectre, uh, Storm, and like PA. I would say it's like three pretty big heroes and concepts around playing versus the sniper, but. Uh, they, uh, I feel like they saw this PA and they were very dedicated to getting it. So they, uh, despite some of the other heroes that came out afterward. But anyway, Slayer. Oh my 
God. Yeah, that's God. first blood. They use the one that gets it. Afterlife gonna pull the creep wave through and maybe seen some of the reasons why they were hesitant about picking it because uh, Dino already has just got a ton of harassment, almost gets the hook there, but will still take some more pressure from the Skyrath as well. So, um, you know, yeah, good matchup in the mid game, but in the lane uh, already taking a, a lot of harassment with only the Zeus for help. Yeah, I think it's uh, it kind of speaks to this idea of like PA typically can farm in most lanes with the help of dagger, but you have a like a dedicated kill lane. It's a pudge and a Skywrath mage. Like Sky has one job in lane. It's just to spam as many spells as possible, hopefully get some kills, at least try and whittle people down. And it's also sort of an awkward support to be pairing with this position five Zeus. Something that's yeah. been working out fairly well is the four, but on the five, uh, against a strong lane, really all you can do is like pull D ward and hopefully not die by using your jump something that's uh very very scary and i mean the other thing is just the, in terms of the trade um you can see both mid laners getting one of these water runes but uh there, there's that's two so sticks out. up on the top lane um four move that are like oh, in yeah. 10 charges a piece and i'll see that was my bad sorry sorry uh, uh, as padishar is gonna go down bottom and then nothing on on the side of mind games for them so they're taking a ton of harassment um and not able to throw it back the other direction as uh, Big Nim's going to soak up a couple of waves here while the Beastmaster comes back to lane. Oh, and I mean, he's walking them down. Oh, they're not going to go for it. They're turning back. I love you know? the holding of the hook, you know, not, not going for it necessarily. Just like constantly pressuring with the rot. Oh, misses off the mark still with the boots they're gonna try and give him the rundown dino in some trouble needs to get in range for the phantom strike but not gonna get it you do not on the block oh there were not a lot of winning options there maybe could have cut through the trees and ran to the the creep wave in time possibly but even then it was uh gonna be a, a rough a rough one there so bad start phantom assassin 12 last hits and now going down here not off to a, a great one here. So who's going to save this game uh, for mind games at this point? It'll be the question. Are, are Ember and Bat matchups going fairly evenly? Ankred. Um, I haven't seen him play Bat, I don't think. We, we cast him a lot oh. in that um, that tournament they played. Petashara. Leading up to the Major. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, That's a rough one. Um, yeah, that uh, that was a, a good chunk of damage right there. Yeah, I, I think that this matchup is so interesting mid uh, with the bat versus uh, Ember because one, there's like the who gets level six first. And then usually there's an, a moment where like bat will try and all in the Ember, but we haven't seen him go for it. Uh, so just hoping to get the levels up and then kill him with six, I guess, as another Phantom Strike away needs to oh, run. Geez. He's just holding yeah. that hook. It's so scary. Uh, I know. And he can go for it. Another miss. Uh, I, I freaking cursed him right at the start. I was like saying he's going to miss them all. That's how it goes. Oh, well, Slayer still died. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got the rundown after. As down. We're dropping everywhere. There's the diamond that you called for. It. Yeah. Uh, and he didn't actually even need to use lasso. So whenever it comes back, uh, he might die again. Ankrad needs a bottle refill, though. Yeah, this will be good. So Ankrad, at least for us, uh, I would say Puck, at least I remember in that tournament leading up to the Major, was his most standout hero. I feel like he had some pretty incredible games. And uh, Bat uh, certainly plays quite a bit differently, right? Uh, someone who's a little bit more farm heavy and... Uh-oh. Uh yeah, that one's probably going to yeah. miss. Oh, man. Dino goes down. Wow. Um, to six to two and a very very impressive round here coming in Ankrad actually trying to get aggro on the edge and will commit the lasso for this so a lot of damage finally goes for the fireplay now the hurricane oh, the getting involved it's enough and now Ankrad's gonna go down dude pantomim using the hurricane well played yeah, he got in trouble there because he didn't have the Firefly quite yet. And I think he was trying to wait for the Firefly, but I think he saw that he was going to get bird pushed. So then he went for the lasso and then the Firefly came up after. So he couldn't sync up all his damage in time. And, uh, you know, delayed damage versus Ench is generally quite the problem. Yeah, Petushara going to get turned on now also. And with the sniper in tow, they'll have more than enough damage to kill him off. Better so trying to time. make something happen before uh, Ench was able to get back into lane and was pressuring the sniper just gets punished. They are getting crushed. Like, yeah. Bat had a good lane, but then he goes and dives the edge. And now all three lanes are pretty much a disaster. 
Uh, eight to two, a 3k lead, and versus a Pudge <coughs> Ember, like they're gonna be so active this game. Ooh, Afterlife. Afterlife. That's a level three Zeus. Oh, get on back over there, find some. <laughs> Ankrad trying to stop this. They all okay. jump on top of Afterlife. I don't know if that's going to work. This guy tanks up a lot of damage. Does have we sick charges, but fixed. didn't have enough follow-up there. I guess that Melajul couldn't get there easily. Um, didn't have a, a tower to TP to. So Slayer will be saved by the rotation coming from Ankrad. Very well played. Man, that is so huge. They, they needed that. That's like a like a turning point in this game if they can now just like because they also uh will be able to just go for the next lasso right because uh, they yeah. didn't need it to kill the pudge so now another core kill after could be what gets mind game sort of evened up here look at this though that's them got lucky found a uh troll camp and that means this tower is likely going down with all the bonus damage on that siege creep tries to take it will it be enough they're gonna have to go for the deny here but doesn't happen middle tower has fallen so mid tower goes down. That was a, a nice sneak in there to grab that. Like before the beast has six, before PA is at any hope of coming into an engagement at all either. Yeah. Well, Jewel, thinking about sticking around. Can they kill him off before he can get the illusion rune? They will. Nicely played by Mind Games, taking these opportunities presented to them. Hook up top. Finds the PA. Is it enough for a kill? Has Phantom Strike, but no creeps I don't to think jump he's to. Anywhere to go. He is in trouble and going to die. Afterlife gets another. <laughs> One move keep picking up these like really important moves of these hook kills up top, and then it's just like the little deaths, like the ember. Uh, both times, really, I guess. It's, it's certainly the most significant ones. It's just Melodule who needs to uh, start popping off a little bit, and they can be in full control of this one. Dude, they got another troll. My sprites are with <laughs> us. And another tower, you know? They yeah. All together. God. That is uh, got to be annoying for mind games. Dyer's bottom tower Especially with the fallen. spray then thrown down. That's uh, That's nice. <laughs> You know, I figured out why they picked uh, Slayer and Zeus here. They feel like Disruptor's bad. They need another Lightning Hero. That's what's going on. That makes on. sense. Yeah. Probably plays Raiden in Mortal Kombat, too. Yeah. You know, that's all he's up to. So people still play Mortal yeah, Kombat? Yeah, I was actually surprised the Slayer. Uh oh. Tries to get away. The jump. Slowed. Able to cliff. Say you. He's in trouble. Roar afterwards, but they're kind of spreading their damage. They will definitely get Seiyu and Mellow Jewel going to jump away. They actually find the stomp afterwards from the, the edge creep. Jumps out and away. Mellow Jewel lives afterlife, able to get Slayer. Pantomem moves back in and they get another kill. Wow. 10 to 5, a 4k lead. Sweeping over mind games, half of the map now. Top Night shooting creeps. I mean, everything's really going exactly how they wanted to for the Radiant Squad. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you know, they, they've got this big, like, late game answer of, of PA, uh, but she's trying to get into a Battle Fury. And I mean, that, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how they sort of slow down this tempo because right now it just feels really rough for them. Ankrad low here as they're coming in. Finds him. Oh, oh my ya. god. Yeah, that's a that's a dead bird. Uh, he even saw the smoke pop on his war, but there's nothing he could do. Just like, ah, I'm dead. Wow. Um, well, all tier one towers taken. And at 10 minutes in, like you said earlier, they've got this ember, they've got the pudge. I don't think they want to slow down. This is like high aggro gameplay coming out from them yeah i think uh, both pudge and now our uh our friend clockwork here i feel like they can kind of do a similar thing where pudge is at a point where he just wants to live in your jungle right like he wants to be off the map but he doesn't want to be off the map doing nothing like now you can you can farm creeps you can battery yourself creeps as clockwork now while you're hanging out in situations like this a little bit pudge obviously has gotten to the point now where uh the rot doesn't really impact him he's got himself on the hood so he's just chilling just farming up your creeps, slowing down that farm of the Battle Fury. Fan was asking. Now they're trying to gank Knight. Huge. Yeah, that was, that was really good. That's what they needed. 
Smiling Knight, he's gonna go down, gets off a couple quick little rounds of the shrapnel, trying to slow down Dino. They're moving in now with a couple different heroes. Concussive shot will show where the PA oh, is, hits and he hits these. Looking for it, dodging, running, <laughs> gets him right down the middle. Oh man, and they, uh, they get some recompense there. What does that make you? Oh god. Are we gonna be tired of Pudge by the end of this patch? Is that even possible? I don't think so. I, I, I think I don't that this think is it just is. that hero that's like, it's fun to watch no matter what. Listen, invest now in Dendi face stocks. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're, they're, they're going to be going through the roof pretty soon here. Nami supporter back, you know? It's just like, yo, Dendi, can we, uh, <laughs> can we get a good oh. little call back here, bud? There you go. <laughs> Stomp, it's down, find their man. Oh, don't look at it. Afterlife misses, but it kind of doesn't matter as they will uh, back away afterwards. God, and you can't even really feel comfortably like going on Smiling Night, right? Like, cause you just know that they've got Ember Pudge right behind him. Yeah, there's even this crazy thing called a Pudge save that's even possible. Not that we've needed to see any of those this game, but it does still exist. Yeah. I wonder if he goes for the shard after Blink. I feel like there's he's too busy doing other stuff. Yeah. He wants to use Dismember aggressively. Well, 6,000 gold lead and... Um, Pedishore is doing a good job keeping this pressure on this bottom tower. I mean, again, like, as a Beastmaster, you'd love this to be dead about, like, six minutes ago, but... They, at the very yeah. least, are going to be able to get some good push uh, down bottom while they're, you know, losing their jungle. This is just such a good example game of what can happen when you have sort of a snowball style lineup and things work out really well early. Because, like, there's a reason why, at least I was favoring my game's draft. I thought that um, the mid lane would go really well for the Bat Rider. And then that sort of forward progress from there paired up with the Beastmaster. Like, I imagine that bottom lane getting pushed in. They take over that part of the jungle. Bat has lots of space to farm. PAs get space to farm. But when things get disrupted by these plays, like Afterlife making so many moves up top, really punishing the Phantom Assassin in the lane, then that tilts everything. Thing. And then on top of that, Phantom, uh, like you pointed out, Radiant twice with the trolls was huge. Getting that yeah. mid tower so early makes such a big difference in this game. Yeah, it basically shut down any moves that they wanted to make. And now, smoke up as for uh, they've got sniper that's going to walk front and center, clear out the creep wave, um, and then they're ready to battle, ready to go. I mean, you don't have a BKB yet for the Bat Rider. PA has you know Claymore broadsword. There's no way that they're ready to fight and now tries to push them away with telekinesis ain't gonna happen They lose big num Ankrad tries to get out of there. They managed to not quite get him though The creeps are the ones that tank the searing chains Yeah, he's got a good point. They don't have that many stuns as well okay. So certainly something to keep an eye on is uh, they're moving into this style of gameplay They're gonna be moving around the map killing waves and trying to get out mm whenever possible well a pause here bat rider dcs <laughs> that's wow. such a good voice line for a pause <laughs> oh no i know what it's the? great <laughs> it's really good man we we've had some stomps today you know the southeast asia games we were watching earlier felt very uh very similar to this i wonder if like if it's just sort of something that's going on in the meta or if we're uh you know seeing like i don't know just a, a strength of difference in terms of the teams but um this has been an interesting one i'm surprised at how well move have been able to do yeah i think they they just keep hitting they they just keep like getting their wins in the lane moving forward great positioning on the map great vision as well especially considering they've been playing versus a zeus i feel like they've done a really good job of uh having some gotcha. some good wards in the top half not so much right now they're probably going to restock on a lot of those because it's hard to keep your wards up versus oh, no. nice blink Ankrad stolen though. That one was flesh heap stolen of all things. And now Big Nub, he's going to end up in some trouble oh, as well. God. He looks gross. He's living. He's living for as long as he can. Is, was it worth it? Pretty good. To look like that with the flesh heap. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Never refuse gold given. I wonder how wow, the that flesh was heap grotesque. stacks. I haven't go. seen that yet. No. 
I want a Rubik <laughs> version of it. I want it to be green goo all over him. Oh, Petashara. He's caught in some trouble. Roar is out. Slowed down. They're going to have some vision. Looking for the hook. Petashara, get oh. over here. Yeah, that one was easy as pie. As they will take him down. Damn. Afterlife all over it. Yeah, the tips galore. I mean, everyone loves the Pudge hitting hooks on your team. You know, this is the Pudge on the other team. You guys recognize yeah. this lad. You never see him on your team, <laughs> but you get into your game for some reason. Afterlife, I swear, every time I queue, there he is, yep, hitting all he's his good hooks. To go. Dude, they're gonna look find at the somebody way he about walks. to pull up too. Yeah, he's just oh, got yeah. the confidence. You know, there's there's a, a thing that happens to the Pudge animations depending on how many hooks you hit. Not many people know this. He actually swaggers Ooh. more when your percentage hit is higher. Dude, I like that as an idea. Let's get in touch with Jeff. Mr. Hill, right. please. I mean, that's true. You know, he's not busy or anything. <laughs> Jeff, really Jeff, cool. stop everything. This is very important. I would like Pudge to walk backwards when he's hitting hooks. Yeah, exactly. Do a little, moonwalk, Do a little moonwalk. That's good. That's good. Dude, that would be such a cool animation. That's the this next punch. level of, like, cosmetics, right? Like, the cosmetics change the way that your character moves. Yeah, Aww. and then we can get them so, like, they do more damage and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, better yeah. stats. Exactly. That's, that's the direction we should go, I think. <laughs> I think that would really improve Dota in the long run. Nobody's ever heard of that idea before, either. I haven't heard no. it in any other games. Oh. 60 and a half minutes. They get out of there. It does look like the smoke ink is not going to bear any fruit unless they can find ink right down here. But now they're just going back to farming some more looking for a d ward uh but it is up on this high ground here so that does mean they know that pantomim's alone and trying to go for the inch here in some trouble gets the heal has a fourth staff still they're so scared yeah Too they're scary. just like we don't know where they are at all you know you look at their vision they, they don't know that inch was essentially completely alone damn dude yeah they gotta run how close to this battle fear? It's coming out now. So some solace. But even when BKB is there for the PA, uh, that is still not going to answer all their, their problems. Man, I feel bad when the PA in my game gets pinged at 16 minutes with the, with the battle fury. You know, oh, yeah. so it's like adult, PA battle fury. That's it. But almost right. 18 this game. Uh, that's a rough time. Do you feel bad because it's you? Is that uh, what? No, no, I'm <laughs> okay. not smart enough to play that hero. I feel Sorry. worse because I was probably supporting the PA who's getting yeah, a 16 okay, minute gotcha. battle theory and getting flamed. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Yeah. The, the PA gets pinged and then they ping you. That's the classic. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Crystal Maiden is level five. 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Took oh. the tome. Oh, almost there. Afterlife was feeling himself. We'll get a D ward there at the very least. Uh, he was trying to hit that one like ultra blind, right? Because he didn't even see uh, the, the PA was blurred. Mm. That's the next level hook if you can hit those. They actually connect on a scan of Pedushar. I'm not sure what they're going to do with this information. They just know that someone's defending here. Right. Well, Jewel, he's going to go back Dyer's behind the tower, tower, but there is a sentry ward that's already down. Uh, but he's just outside of range of it now, actually. So could go for uh, a catch, seeing if anybody was hiding back in those trees. They take over the outpost and Aegis. How much longer on that? It's about to expire in 15 seconds. I really feel for Dino this game, I have to say. You know, getting that pretty late battle fury and you know you only have one choice. Like, I don't think you can risk anything other than BKB. No. And so you're just, you're essentially sentenced to, uh, to just farm. That's all you oh. can do. They know that Dino's here trying to hunt. They see the creeps are low, but they can't get them. So the blur runaway ends up working for him. And yeah, I mean, at the very least, like he hasn't died again recently, but still 0-4 mm -hmm. and 2. Um, and maybe Dyer's by the time this BKB comes online, he's going to be able to actually get a, a fight going for him. But um, like, as you mentioned, he has to go for it. If they had a better position five, maybe the lane doesn't go as bad in terms of like a laning five. But 
with the lane going so poorly the only reason i'd say he hasn't died again is because they have a zeus because all slayer is doing is running left and right and dewarding Right. And that's insured because, like, if there's wards in these jungles, like, they, she's so dead. Like, right. <laughs> Dino, there's no way Phantom Assassin's living. This punch is gonna blink and kill you. Yeah, he's super ready for that. Even if you're like blurred, right? Like, he, he'll just mm -hmm. jump on top of you as you see the creeps dying. And speaking of which, that might happen here in a second. Although it looks like they're going bottom. So even though there's a ward here, uh, they won't be able to find the PA most likely. They're trying to hunt through and catch Bignum, which... Man, he is hungry. Afterlife, just like... <laughs> I'd love to see just his perspective of this game, because I feel like he's just pinging and clicking into, like, the last place he sees a hero, you know? Right. He's just auto-moving. It's like Spirit Breaker. Just run he's, it. <laughs> he's the slowest charging Spirit Breaker ever. Yeah. But that is basically what they're going for here. I mean, again, they, they don't manage to find anybody. It's some really good split push going on. Um, and maybe even here they could find Melajul, Roar to start it. Flame Break pushback, Lasso, the full combo is out. And they'll kill him. So that is exactly what my game's needed. Unfortunately, Afterlife is here to put a stop to all the fun they've been able to have. And he'll gain himself another quick little flesh heap stack. Ancred also TP'd in here. They might know that too. So since it was off of a roar, they could potentially hunt for him. It wouldn't be the most ludicrous thing to uh, have a peek in that tree, but they already used their scans. So should be all yeah. right. Yeah, he'll get away. Interesting. Actually, uh, Pudge queuing up and buying the shard. Attack. So decides to go for the more defensive uh, ability right now. Save his teammates if things get scary. PA almost at that BKB and Slayer just trying to buy more space for him but the pressure is going to come it looks Dyer's like another tier 2 tower is uh, going to start to go down is Roche capable of responding in 5 seconds afterlife hunting bottom radiant they scan and PA walks right into it. They know what's coming. Afterlife ready. Blinks right on top of him. Dino tries to get away, but already used Blur. And so they're going to maintain vision. Find the PA. Oh, Ankrad, no. And Ankrad also wanted to salvage it, but it's not going to work. BKB tries to run away. Will he get out? Oh, Pudge Afterlife has hooked back up in another couple seconds. Looking through the trees and not quite going to get him. But they get, oh, vision. get the vision though. And <laughs> downtown oh, headshot. Melashul tries to get into him as well. Has another round of slide of his Acred, nowhere left to go. And he blocks by the tree and eventually goes down. Can they at least and... kill Pantomim for this? Yeah, they'll get somebody. <laughs> and Ench will die. Well, totally a, a good trade, right? Pristy, pristy, pristy. Oh, yeah. Double core for an inch. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's a tough game. This dude's having a, a bit of a rough one. Well, Roche, very quick respawn. And they will see it on mind games. So with a, yeah. a Hawk in there... Um, Maybe some potential for a, a Roach steal if uh, move try and take that that next Aegis in like a bit of a cavalier fashion. All Begnum has to do is steal hook. Okay. Which is basically impossible now, by the way, with Ron and Fleshy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Pudges are just mashing buttons now, just rolling their faces over the keyboard, making sure that's not going to happen. Hmm. Never refuse gold given. Yeah, it's going to have to come down to like a you know, heavenly jump into the pit or something dumb like that. <laughs> to steal it. That, that would be something. That, the dream. But I don't know. Well, BKB's like... done. Okay. Just don't get dismembered, I guess. Dyer are scanning. Unfortunately, also the angle that they're going right now, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna smoke up. They know that this is happening. The hawk is gonna pass just outside of range of that sentry, but there is another sentry ward. They see it now, and Ench ends up killing it. They gotta jump in, gotta be ready to go immediately. Petushar, they pop the ulti, gets him right away. No, Knight got it. 
Smiling Knight gets the Aegis nonetheless. It was a good attempt, but not good enough. And does steal this member, but Dino still gonna get caught. Big Num tries to get away. Dino hoping to escape. No such luck. That's Smiling Knight now finding two of them and ready to run down a lane. The timing was so good too. Yeah, I thought they'd actually done it, but not able to get the Aegis or even the Roche kill there. And, and frankly, just no damage put out either. I mean, Zeus ulted and that's just about it. So yeah, I'm expecting a GG here. I feel like that was your last gasp. Yeah, they, they've got, a, I mean, potentially one last battle here. They do find Ankrat four step forward. Could blink away or rather the uh, the dismember. I was going to say, I think Rubik ate him. Him. Yeah, yeah, that was that was what was needed because he was dying otherwise. Dive bomb, and down low dead. Okay, there's a little something something going the way of mind games. Looks for another hook, not able to find it. And so with that, they'll actually back out. So Rubik stealing dismember ends up making a really big difference there. That is pretty impressive. That's uh, surprisingly useful in this game in particular because they are just looking to break the base Ooh, by getting that, that one grab, right? That one hook yeah. into a dismember or something like that. And so Radiant having a single target scanning. save like that, it's going to be really nice. They also have a great ward as well in behind where one move are, that one on the cliff down by the rush. So if they retreat from this high ground, like there's a chance they can sort of play into this. But yeah. uh, unfortunately, they just want more damage on PA. Well, and even to be honest them seeing that they haven't retreated gives some pretty good info to mind games that like all right well we can't go into our own jungle at all there's no way that's gonna happen pantomime um, with the tp down to the outpost just to put an oz in the sentry very cool because they want to control the top half so like he knows that they're gonna come into this part of the jungle because that's the only safe place for them to farm right so he sends the creep denies the bounty rune mm. with the hellbear smasher and now they can sort of get it. oh well and now he gets grabbed so you know not Nothing? great Roared? What, dude. Roared. Oh my god. Alright. Next time. I mean Okay. <laughs> Man, if I buy back, I'd, I'd be thinking about going. I mean, like, yeah. Let's just go high ground, guys. I mean they might do it without the edge. Like who cares? They, they don't have roar or lasso now. Um so yeah, it looks like move are gonna feel comfortable uh, slow siege in this one. And tier three oh, tower oh, about to go down. Ha, ha. Dyer's middle tower. Yeah, that's uh, what are you that's gonna do rough. about it? Not a whole Dyer's lot. Middle barracks are under Without attack. roar, what can they actually do? Yeah, there's not much. Aha, uh, uh, dive bombs. Yes. There it is. Breaking that Lincolns. I mean, they're ready with this member too, right? Like, the only thing that they can do is clear the creep wave when it comes in eventually, but this is going to be a set of racks. Phantom M. They spot the Rubik now. And TP moving in. They're at least going to find Bignum. Maybe he can get Ankrad too now, it looks like. Ooh, Bignum, wait a minute. Gets away. The freaking telekinesis shard it gets them to the low ground. Very well done. There haven't been many opportunities to make plays this game for Bignum, but uh, oh, no. in, the, in this weird late game, he's done well. He, he's made some cute little plays, like with the save and uh, just getting on the map like that too, wasting some time, keeping things going. Uh, I feel like the longer this game goes on, the less likely mind games are to ban Pudge. And I, I don't know if that's good or not. You know, I feel okay. like if this game had have ended like 10 minutes ago, they would have just been yeah. a punch next game and they, they could have been done with it. But the longer things move forward, they're going to start seeing more of this sniper, right? And more of this ember. And they're going to be thinking things like, ah, the pudge wasn't that big of a deal, but he was. Right. Don't, don't be fooled. The pudge is spooky. Very scary hero. I mean, the other thing too, is that getting it in the second phase of that first pick right like they they went mm -hmm. sky and then it was into what was it beastmaster uh zeus i think I don't, yeah, regardless right. like and then getting pudge at the end meant that they could like deal with a lot of the lane counters that were annoying and those other heroes so i think just some some cool draft for move and um they've set themselves up for success and mind games really not having any answers Aegis, it makes a good case, I think, 
um, for the idea of the Spectre, too, because um, although... Oh, well, hold up now. Are they actually going to try something here? Is under attack. I mean, that is just like, down. Um, statistically, PA, I think, is like the better of the two between um, PA and Spectre in terms of countering the Sniper. But one thing, especially professional matches, why we often look to the Spectre first is this idea of how people set up around the Sniper and being able to reveal that, not just getting on the Sniper himself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, making like that chaos that exists there. And, and also, I mean, you can kind of, uh, I guess, the, the soaking up damage means you can kind of go toe to toe more easily with the sniper. Whereas this with like Butterfly MKB, like even if PA jumps on him, he's just, I don't think that you win that fight potentially. No. <laughs> Not with the concussive grenade, you know. We, that's right, we have top of, we are tuba. That's, uh, we've made it. Oh, yeah. It's the tuba it's patch. Happened. Finally, Jenkins tried so hard. Newsham, they did it. Lovely folks. Sit in the meta. So lovely, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> just stand-up members of Dota 2 matchmaking, those two. That's right. Well, uh, smoke is going to expire. Are they just going to chill until next Roche? Move? I mean, play. They, they definitely don't want to throw away anything here. Very confident with uh, the state of the game. I mean, there's obviously some worries about if PA gets, like, another couple of items, this hero can just take over the game, but um, probably not in the amount of time in between now and when Roche comes out. It's going to be a lot of items. Yeah. But, you know, maybe you get a, uh, a Nimbus, perhaps, you know, Slayer. Only, mm -hmm. like, 3,000, ah, 2,000 gold away. You know, he's getting there. Yeah. It's making the moves. That does mean that it's the other heroes on his team that are not getting gold. No, that's uh, not right. That's not how math works. <laughs> Hold on now. But, Don't you uh, know about the trickle down effect? I, yes. You know, I, <laughs> of course. I've heard of this Give before. Give me the farm and it will benefit you eventually. Don't yeah. it? Don't it? It's real. All right. Oh, my God. Afterlife has a haste now if he wants it. Are they going to give that to Melodule? Oh, what a nice guy. He could have maybe gotten oh, Petashara there. Long range hook? No. But uh, nonetheless, bring back zero minute Pudge. You know, now that Pudge is uh, is back and is cool, we should bring back the zero minute uh, power runes so you can get zero Ooh. minute Pudge hasted into your lane. Remember those days? That was good. That was a good meme. I mean, there was oh, literally oh. nothing you could do on like 90% of heroes. This right. Pudge just runs into the tree line. You didn't see what the rune was. You're just dead. Yeah. Or like good your time. mid starts with the DD. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine now if there was like an invis and you had Marcy. <laughs> she just nice. like disposed. Oh god. You. Night. That was a quick and easy one. Damn, dude. He is so freaking strong. He's about to have satanic. Yeah, th this is this sniper is like a huge problem. You think he's having fun this game? I mean, I don't know. Does he do you think that it's fun to just like a click? I don't know. Map? I would be pretty bored at this point. I feel yeah. like this game was, you know, your team's kind of owning and ah, who are we kidding? No, it's pretty fun to click heads if people just die. I changed yeah. my mind. There's lots of little dopamine hits when you're just getting all the kills. You know, things are flashing up on the screen. Oh, that's Feels true. good. I mean, there was a quadruple rampage in your uh, your series that's earlier. Right. NGX versus T1. Uh, it was Mr. a similar Carl. sort of sort of lead here. Yeah, um, in that game, it was at 0% win rate for a very long time. They're still at 9% right now for mind games. So some chance mm -hmm. for a, a bit of a comeback. There's some belief. I think that's just the PA effect. Yeah. And to be fair, like, PA is that hero, right? If there's a hero that... Oh, wait a minute. Big jump. Find themselves one. It's on the edge. And Pandamam. Oh, gets pulled back afterwards. They do manage to find that kill. And they stole Hook. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Afterlife. What happened there, buddy? Wow. This is like when I play Witch Doctor and my ulti gets Die. stolen. Oh, that Die. feels so, so bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Dude, you know what else? Uh, Dino's got an interesting item here. He's got the Enchanted Quiver as his, uh, as his neutral item. So his first hit, hit is going to hit no matter what. All that evasion doesn't matter. Radiance bottom tower is He's going to put the fear into him, you know? I mean, if he crits on that one hit. <laughs> and he has All to I'm buy saying. an MKB, which I have to say must feel so annoying. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's still not going to be enough for a one shot, sadly, because, you know, armor exists. But uh, 
It, it, it could do some good damage to Mr. Mr. Knight here. Yo, As... If Rapier, if Rapier still had True Strike, Dino wins. Or True Strike, Dino wins this game. Right. Sniper buys yeah. a Rapier because they're so far ahead. Then Dino gets it. <laughs> Yeah, the downside now is that Pudge has Ags and so does Melajewel. So suddenly it's not just the sniper anymore. <laughs> like these other heroes, they're a oh huge problem. That rot is humongous. I did not know it was that big now. Dude, it's it's really crazy. Bonus radius 225. Whew, and he has the regen reduction when he's going for the uh Yeah. The satanic? Is it wait, wait does it impact yeah, healing? Maybe. I think so. I, I could be wrong about that. But, I mean, you might be able to check after that game because it might be right now. Although, this is the way to do it. Oh, secondary hook saved. Okay, hook on hook. Mellow Jewel, BKB, roar afterwards. Do they want to jump? Try and blow him up. Not going to happen. Dismember the pudge. It's too strong. And then the oh, he, he, soul he dismember. <laughs> All right, this is I the only confirm. way to beat pudge. Heal reduction, health regeneration reduction, life steal reduction, and spell life steal reduction. Okay. So it, it does it all. So that's really good this game. Well, the only way to beat Pudge apparently is to have Pudge yourself Ankrad, the Lincolns, oh, the Passover. Again. They ate him, keeping him alive. Bignum doing his best. He really to keep is. Team up. <laughs> I, I don't. I mean, they don't have anything else now, though. They they use lasso. They use roar. Well, we don't uh, talk about that part. We're talking about the cool saves. Not not that they true. can't defend their buildings. Yeah, fair. They kill off both of those wards as well. So now they don't even have vision as the melee racks are going to go down. A miss on the hook. Please cast Rot. Um, they actually can't do anything. No. no they just don't just... have the reach. Say goodbye to your head. Say goodbye to your head. Okay, maybe he's not having fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is rough. I, I mean, I'll be I, like, what do you do? I'd be throwing concussive grenades right now. I'd just be, you know, pressing my buttons. Middle tower is under attack. Damn. Well, a lift up and a run away. And I think that this is probably going to be uh, one last round of, of buildings going down here. Ankrad gets vision. They find one. Eaten afterwards, but the big jump punch. Gets hit by the fan of knives and Dino able to find himself one kill. It's actually Slayer that got it though. And Dino going to be forced to BKB TP out as two more of his compatriots okay. will fall. All right, Ankrad made a really nice play there. He he blinked in and he bounced them and he intentionally grabbed the Pudge because he knew that Pudge was going to go for the dismember save when he lassoed the end because he's been like lassoing the end constantly and stuff, right? Mm. Uh, and so they're able to actually just focus down onto Afterlife there. And uh, that, that's a good trade to make them all move to this part of the map and you manage to kill Afterlife. I think you'll take that. Yeah. Oh, Ankrad. Double flame break. That does not Nature stack, attack. but he was trying to kill off the whole wave. Unfortunately, Panamems here has the nature's attendance to keep the creeps alive. Dedication right there. Damn. That's really nice. So 38 minutes and this is going to be a tier two tower gone. And with two other sets of racks, I think they're just walking down lanes again. You've got a minute 15 left on the Aegis for Sniper. The final defense, the last racks and uh, what item will be available at that point? Will Dino purchase something before this fight? Or save mm. for buyback? That's the question. Deceptive rune of uh, saving for buyback feels like it's not going to be enough either, but at the same time, I don't know. Well, that's one Lincoln's down. I mean, you've held on for like 20 minutes. Knowing how bad this game was, you have to make a stand. Unless you're going to try and hold megas. Which I guess is possible because you have Lasso and Rubik and Stolen Hook, so you could play for tier fours and fountain kills. They're thinking about it. So I mean, that, it looks like they're going to go in for this, which they need to do. Already up on the high ground. Knight is there. They pop the ulti. Not able to connect. Get the pudge instead. Can they blow him up in time? Fan of knives down. Very low HP, but he eats the cheese in afterlife. Full oh, HP yet again. 
Sniper down low, but the Satanic, the turnaround, and the kill. They have buyback on the PA, but they have expended so much trying to win this, and nobody died. Aegis expires. They can stick around, keep hitting buildings. They're in fact quite talent. healthy. Yeah. And I think that that's just going to about do it. They find Penushar, the lift up. They do blow up the edge, but it comes at a cost with already the Beastmaster dead. And now the rundown, PA dead, no buyback. And move are going to take this game at number one off the back of an afterlife pudge. 16 stacks of flesh heap. What a dominant game. Uh, just an incredibly impressive match, honestly. Uh, that off lane just doing so much to slow down the Phantom Assassin and um, even when you compare it to what happened for mod games and their off lane, they just really couldn't get things moving. Like Petrushar not really able to get into this game. I think it ended 0, 8, and 8. Uh, mm. So like they were so far behind that it was tough for you to do these like Beastmaster led maneuvers around the map where you're looking for the roars. He didn't get to actually control that space in the map that you want to when you're playing Beastmaster where you take the tower. Yeah occupy the jungle and try and pressure like you think about pressuring it towards the mid lane that's such a common tactic that you would see even from a lineup like this beastmaster batrider but right. because of the uh, the early wins from the pudge as well as the great edge play again pantomim uh, not as flashy obviously as hitting the sweet hooks but taking those trolls mid and to the bottom tower did so much to just like stamp that snowball very firmly in place for one move right and and i think that we're seeing with this like dynamic that exists um if you can play a pudge that like can be defensive and defend a sniper and things like that that's awesome but when you get that and then also you have the other element of like killing the carry the carry support over and over and over again in lane this hero can just feel insane um and i'm just gonna keep gushing over pudge because that's my plan uh but for now at least we're gonna do a quick break uh and we get the back panel's gonna break it all down see y'all then